how sustainable is tourism in East Africa? CNBC's Africa's uh, Chris Bishop spoke to Judy Kiefer Gona, who is the Director of Sustainable Travel and Tourism Agenda about the ecotourism trend. Yeah, uh, ecotourism, or uh, these days we choose to call it sustainability because that opens this space. We can talk about things that are beyond uh, protection of wildlife and beyond sharing benefits uh, with communities to issues of human rights and labor rights and sharing of spaces uh, with community. This is a big trend in East Africa, in Kenya particularly. We're seeing a lot of change in um, uh, wildlife, um, uh, use of wildlife for tourism. For a long time, communities uh, did not have opportunity to use wildlife for tourism, and I'm talking non-consumptive utilization. Uh, but over the last uh, 10 years, we have seen a tremendous growth in community-owned wildlife conservation areas. And communities are now putting their land together and inviting private sector to come and invest in the land, and they're going into equitable partnerships. This is a big trend for Kenya today. How much of a, of a change, a sea change, is it? Because, I mean, just well, more than 20 years ago, uh, your former president, Arap Moy, I remember it well, setting fire to uh, big piles of ivory, saying they were going to try and clamp down on poaching there. How has the, the mindset amongst the people of Kenya changed in that time? I think that was a big uh, message for Kenyans, and Kenyans uh, still believe very strongly, and we sent this message to CITES this year, that we do not want any form of trade in ivory, irrespective of whether you call it what they call good ivory, because it just uh, creates a different sense in the market and opens the appetite for more ivory. So we've been, since Arab Moy, our former president, banned uh, tons of ivory in Nairobi National Park. We have uh, the former president again, Kibaki, also did the same thing. And we're sending a very strong message uh, to the world that our elephants are worth more alive. And what about, uh, just lastly, what, what about uh, your customers, shall we say? I mean, are they coming from within Africa or are they coming from outside? Uh, we have seen a change in uh, travel uh, over the last five years with more intra-Africa travel. And today, Uganda is our fourth largest source market. Unbelievable. Nobody would have thought about that a couple of years ago. So even the, the travel trends are changing. Domestic travel in Kenya has grown exponentially. We are now competing with the foreign market for bird occupancy in Kenya. Another difference that we have seen in change in tourism in the region.